Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Uh, doesn't this look perplexing? What an interesting word. Perplexing. I say we go with the right path. Because the right path is always right. I mean, am I right? It's good logic, right? That was the logic I used when I first played this. Um... Wow, I forgot I had this much storage space, and it's a good thing, too. I'm going to have to make use of some of this stuff after the uh, episode's over. I'll do is store my reviver seeds and hold items. After that, I'm throwing everything out. Well, since it seems like there is only one place to go, the right path, we shall go to the right path. Am I right? Off we go. I always do that. Just for the record, both of these paths, though they may look alike, are essentially exactly the same, so you don't really have to worry that much. They are both five floors, and it doesn't really matter which one you pick. We'll figure that out after I get through this one, and the next one. Uh, Kecleon shops do reside here, 8% rate. There is darkness on all the fours, water on fours 3 through 5, the enemy IQ again remains at that rate of 150. There really is not much to say about this place at all, it's very straightforward. Um, it's kind of like, almost like a Marowak Dojo type kind of thing. Ah, uh, you'll ha see Amphros, Laron, Staraptor, Minetric, Claydol, Ninyask, Shelgon, and Gliscor. So, yeah, that's about it. Music time. Ah, the beauties of confusion. Right back at the start. For rare dungeons are this complicated. Take a quick save break. This is essentially your midway point, in a sense. Next half is exactly the same, so back to the music.
Oh, art thou confused? What a shame, it's another dead end. Don't you just hate those? Why I say? Because that's the way the world rotates. We all go in circles. I got an idea. Why don't we walk through the wall right there? I bet it would work. Oh, lucky! An apple. It can only mean one thing. Those eyes that stare into your soul. I mean Wigglytuff. Hi there, Wigglytuff. Friendly friend. Yumda! <laughs> that poor perfect apple. Well, duh, the obvious answer is right there in front of you. <laughs> Wisdom. That's what I said. Do you think that was intentional? <sighs> I think that was intentional. But there's always a trick. Well, there's a trick to very few dungeons, but... How odd that it would be right through the center. Again, back at the same place, save if you need to. Swap out any items if you need to. I obviously can't because I'm running too low on storage space. And then onward to the limestone cavern. Woohoo! Interesting scenery. Guess what? Five fours, five fours, five. Well, actually, just two sets of five fours, not a third set of five fours. Once again, Kecleon shops are here at their standard 8% rate, except for the Depths, which have a rate of 50%. Gee, this sounds familiar. Monster Houses on Depths 1 through 5 have a rate of 5%. Water on 4s 1 through 2, 1, 2, 4, 5, Depths 1, 3, and 5. And the IQ here is 150. Gee, doesn't this sound familiar? At the end of this all, there is a boss battle, so you can expect that ahead of you. Um, not much to say beyond that, except ow, that hurt. Um, I better get out of here <laughs> before I end up dead. Yay, I'm glad I have reviver seeds. Um, anyway, aside from that, there isn't much to say here. A couple of the dungeons, I think most of the dungeons in this special episode actually have hidden coins in the wall. Not that it does you much, because you can't get to them. Unless you have, like, a pass-through scarf or something. Um, darkness is on all fours, so uh, that can make for some irritating conditions. I've said all I need to say. Music time.
beauties of a save point. It's like the beauties of a rose. Actually, save points have nothing at all related to roses, but whatever. Yes, exactly, Gardevoir. Whatever. It's days like today where I'm just being so utterly random. It's fun on those days. Off we go.